So happy Thursday, people. We are back again. Three videos today. Apologies for only doing two yesterday. Uh, but I'm back on the grind today. Three videos. And uh, big up to everybody who watched the live stream I did on Morley Gunner. Make sure if you haven't checked that channel out, the link is down there, baby. The vlog's dropping tonight. Um, my little one and her mum arrived last night, so we picked them up. And yeah, it's all good, man. Two weeks of my little mini me running around and uh, fleecing me and my bank account. <laughs> but yes, listen, make sure you subscribe to that channel. It's nearly on 5,000 subs. It'd be mad to get that done real quick. So thank you very much. Stick a thumbs up on this video. Um, also, I'll be back again today at 5 o'clock and then 10 o'clock. Um, 5 o'clock, we're going to talk about Tammy Abraham. 10 o'clock, we're talking about Ramsdale and Sanderberg. Yay. It's going well at Arsenal, isn't it? And uh, we're going to talk about Joe Willock in a second. Um, but yeah, like I said, thank you very much for all the mad support recently. So stick thumbs up, share the content. Let's go. Joe Willock. Um, reports doing the rounds today suggesting that Arsenal have accepted, yes, you heard right, accepted £25 million for Joseph Willock. Now, this is where the problem comes because Joe Willock has to make that decision himself. Uh, personal terms agreed. Um, everything's kind of done. The whole thing's done. It's just on the say-so of Willock saying, yeah, I can go. So it had me thinking because obviously Leicester City, Madison, Joe Willock can score goals, similar type of position. And um, I was thinking maybe, maybe he's waiting to see what happens with this Madison deal because obviously... I'd imagine that he'd rather go to Leicester than Newcastle. No disrespect to Newcastle. I actually like Newcastle and um, and their fan base. But if it was a choice of Leicester and Newcastle United, obviously Newcastle are not in Europe. It's a million miles from anywhere. <laughs> like Literally, it is such a mission from anywhere. Leicester, straight up the M1, about an hour and a half from London. Bish, bash, bosh. Job done. You get to play with a better manager a better team and in Europe. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this develops over the next couple of days or weeks because if I was Willock, I'd go Leicester. But having said that, it's not necessarily down to him now, is it? Because Arsenal, as we know, are the slowest negotiators on the planet. We're the tightest when it comes to um, trying to buy a player and then we price ourselves out of selling players. Whoever does the negotiations at Arsenal is so bent and backwards it is mad and um yeah we've uh we've still got all the dead wood here we've got leicester city saying basically that they would let us buy madison but it has to be the right fee well if joe willock's 25 million pounds that leaves 45 million pounds to pay on top of willock providing leicester value him at 25 million as well because if they don't then that's another issue personal terms i don't think it'd be an issue for willock at leicester even if it was less money than Newcastle offered, I still think he'd rather go there. But like I said, this is now not in Joe Willock's hands, if that is the case. like If he goes to Newcastle, good luck to him. Absolutely smashed it. The fans will worship him as soon as he walks through the door again. Seven in seven, equaling Shearer's record. That's not to be sniffed at, man. That is a mad record. And he was on fire for them. And I'm sure Steve Bruce is desperate to get that deal done. But like I said, we want Madison. And I think the one that makes sense going to Leicester as part of a swap, if that is even a true story, would be Willock because he plays the similar type of position, box to box, number 10, he can do all of that. Um, and he can score goals. We see that with Newcastle. So it's now w whether we want Madison that badly that we're going to give him Joe Willock and maybe play around with the figures and the, and the fee in that. Because look, at the end of the day, we start and kick off our season in, in eight days. And we've still got Willock here, Maitland Niles here, Reese Nelson, Eddie Nketiah, Say Kalazanak, <coughs> um, Hector Bellerin, William. You know, who else have I missed? There's a few others, I'm sure. Why are they Lacazette? Why are they still all here? Like, genuinely, I don't understand why we are so slow. And, and I'm sick and tired of people telling me, yeah, but Lee, they're crap. Nobody wants our players. Joe Hart signed for Celtic the other day. So why did somebody want Joe Hart? Why did Celtic, one of the biggest teams in the league, along with Rangers, people are arguing either way for that one, um, but why would Celtic want Joe Hart? Oh, but Lee's only a backup. Well, why do they want him? Why didn't they go and get a different backup? Why didn't they go and get Matt Ryan? 
They went for Joe Willock. Uh, Joe Willock. They went for Joe Hart. So when people say, "Oh, yeah, but nobody wants our players," it's just a piss poor excuse. At the end of the day, every player has a price. Every player has a value, and every player has a worth to a football club. You know, I've seen today, this morning, before I started recording this, that um, Pereira from West Brom is signing for Al Hilal. You know, again, everyone has a has a price. You know. The, the comments on that tweet are hilarious, by the way. Go and check that out. Yeah, it's on Fabrizio's um, Here We Go to um, um, Matthias Pereira signing for, for Al Halal. Go and read the comments. You will be in stitches. But it just goes to show that sometimes money does talk, but sometimes it's about how the club do business. Look, at the end of the day, I'm sure West Brom didn't want to sell Pereira, but it comes to a point where the player don't want to be there and you've just got to go, bang, see you later. We should have done that with Granite Xhaka. We should have been sitting there going, right, you want to go? Cool. We're just going to take whatever we can get for you and get you out the door because you will be a problem otherwise. Instead, we're so backwards that we worship him, to like beg him to come back and then worship him onto the football pitch the other day, cheering his name, singing his name. It's like, what is going on with this fan base? And then he signs a contract on even more money than he was on before. I, I don't get it. And this is why I get upset with this football club, because we seem to be slow at everything, so reactionary to stuff. Yeah. And then sometimes we just take forever to do anything. We see yesterday Danny Ying signed for Aston Villa, just like that. No talk, no media stuff, no nothing. Bang. Southampton and Aston Villa have come to an agreement to sign Danny Ings. Yeah. Bang. Just like that. Why didn't we sign Danny Ings? And people go, oh, but he only had one good season and he scored 12 goals last season. Danny Ings is a miles better player, yeah, than a lot of people give him credit for. He is a quality footballer. Why didn't we sign him? Do you know what I'm saying? We're seeing that Lukaku's going, Grealish is going. Yeah, cool, we might not be shopping in that market, but why not? Then we move to this stadium to compete. And when you look at it, if we go and do Madison and we've done Ben White, Together, that's 120 million pounds. We could have gone and got Grealish. Whether he come to us or not, it's a different story, but he could have, could have, couldn't he? It is 110 million. We give you 300 grand a week. He might have joined, might he? We didn't need a centre back. We had Saliba anyway. Uh, it wasn't a priority position centre back, especially when we had the third best defence in the league. We needed a proper midfielder, and the best one in the league is just time for Man City. But there we go. Let me know your thoughts on um, Joseph Willock. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that potential swap with Leicester City. Where do you think Joe's going to end up? Do you think he will end up at Newcastle? Or is he going to be part of a deal that brings Madison to Arsenal? I'd love to know what you guys think of that. Let me know if you think we had half a chance of getting Grealish. I already know the answer, <laughs> but just do it for the banter. And uh, I'll be back again at five o'clock. Like I said, we're going to talk about Tammy Abraham. Um, and then at 10 o'clock, we're going to talk about Sam the Berg and Aaron Ramsdale. So there's some plenty more content to come. Make sure you follow the more channel, link in the description. Stick a like on the video, share the content, and uh, subscribe to this channel as well. Big up to all of you lot, man. Real ones. Arteta out.